We're more than two weeks into the state legislative session and lawmakers are sifting through thousands of bills. Earlier, I spoke with our politics and government reporter, Daryl Huff, about three big issues, taxes, tourism, and Hawaiian homes. Okay, well, let's start with taxes because that is affecting everyone's wallet, inflation, higher costs. What are they trying to do to alleviate the cost of living? There are many, many tax bills because there's a huge surplus. And so there's a lot of pressure on them to give us tax relief. So today what passed was a, a break for doctors who serve vulnerable patients, Medicaid, Medicare, TRICARE. I didn't realize that some of these small practitioners still have to pay excise taxes when they serve a patient like that. And so they're saying, give me that break, 4.5%, because they have to take it out of their pockets, the doctors, not the patients. And I thought that mm -hmm. was interesting. Mm -hmm. Also moving is an expansion of the child care tax credit, which affects people who have children, uh, especially lower income folks. And also an excise tax break for everyone on groceries, unprepared food. So like if you're your basic groceries, not your plate lunches, you'll still pay the taxes on that. Restaurant meals, prepared food, you'd still pay the excise tax, but your basic groceries, you'd be exempted from excise tax. So mm -hmm. those things have moved out of committee. Um, it's very early. They're going to be competing with an awful lot of other tax break ideas, mm -hmm. plus a lot of spending ideas. And in the end, they have to balance taxes versus spending. Tourism, you mentioned, the, the contract situation with HTA. What are we seeing unfold? So there's a lot of pressure also to uh, do something about tourism management. The impact of tourists is very frustrating on local residents from COVID. We really learned what it's like to have no tourists, and a lot of us would prefer that. A lot of folks would like that, but also at the same time, that is the main driver of our economy. So you can't just say tourists can't come, mm -hmm. although some people would like yeah. that. <laughs> but and the green fee didn't well, the green quite fee, get green to fee where it has wanted. evolved yeah. significantly. Uh, it was originally this idea of everyone who comes in on the airport who's a tourist would pay 50 bucks, and then if you're a resident, you get a tax credit back. The governor basically abandoned that idea. He realized mm -hmm. that's not gonna work. It's probably not legal. He, in his own bill, proposed sort of a license. If you want to go to a state beach park, if you want to go to Diamond Head, you want to go to uh, Ka'ana Point, one of these state places, mm -hmm. state-owned recreational lands, you got to pay 50 bucks. Everyone in your family has to pay 50 bucks, and it's good for a year. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a lot fewer people than everybody coming in. So it's a lot less money. Nobody knows how much money that is. But lawmakers have glommed onto that. That actually passed out of a House committee yesterday uh, with kind of flying colors. So I think that they've, because the lawmakers wanted to have something that was tied to the impact that they have, mm -hmm. tied to a place. Mm -hmm. So this has the elegance of tying it to a place and also hitting a lot of people, not all of them, mm -hmm. but you'd have to go online and sign up for yeah. it or go to a grocery store and buy this license. And then who would enforce it? I'm going to go to a trail up in Tantalus, and someone's going to be standing there saying, show me your papers. So <laughs> it's understood that it's probably not even going to be enforced. So we'll see what happens with that. Okay, so finally, real quick, housing, 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 always a big buzzword. Uh, are we actually going to see some reform here? Hawaiian Homes is another matter. They proposed, they actually gave Hawaiian Homes $600 million, and the politics around spending that has really bubbled up, and it's causing divisions within the Hawaiian community. It's actually sort of putting Ikaika Anderson on the spot, who's the nominee to be the chairman of the Hawaiian Homes Commission, which is a board, right? And the first thing he did was come in and say, oh, well, uh, I know the board voted on this, but we're gonna do this, and I'm pretty sure the board will agree. And that got him in trouble with the senators because he's kind of, you know, between a rock and a hard place. Are you supporting your board? Mm -hmm. which represents beneficiaries, or are you supporting what the governor wants to do? That brought in the governor's uh, housing coordinator, who is a woman named Nani Medeiros, who's a native Hawaiian woman, and the introduction of her into the mix and Ikaika Anderson's equivocation about who was doing what and what they were going to do pretty much drove Senator Kurt Favela crazy. Yeah. And he went off at a Hawaiian Homes Committee meeting and basically said some things about Nani Medeiros. He, well, he that equated were so, him to the devil. Well, she didn't the, really. Yeah. I wouldn't say that he did that. that? He, it's a parable, right? The, mm -hmm. the devil comes disguised as an angel. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. was basically saying, in my interpretation, and I think most senators' interpretation that I've talked to, he was just using colorful language to say, 
to make I don't a point. trust this person. Yes. This person point. does not have the Hawaiian-ness, Hawaiian spirit, the Hawaiians at heart. She took great personal umbrage to that, mm -hmm. and ultimately he had to apologize under the threat of being sanctioned by the Senate for that personal attack. Mm -hmm. well, a lot to dissect there, and we have a big week ahead as usual. Definitely tune in to all of Daryl Huff's coverage, all of the stories he mentioned also on our website, hawaiinewsnow.com. Good to see you, Daryl. Thanks for joining us on Sunrise Weekends. Thanks, Annalisa, and congratulations on the show.